Greetings, this is M squared, and we're going to solve some linear systems of equations using elimination. Some people call it addition and subtraction. Remember, when we're solving linear systems, we're finding out where these two lines intersect. So that is our goal. And most of the time, you'll get two lines that intersect, and then you'll have a solution. But sometimes you have parallel lines, and they won't intersect. And sometimes you'll be actually have two equations that are exactly the same, and you'll have an infinite amount of solutions. So keep in mind the options because all of them will probably happen in your assignment, but most often it'll be this one where you'll just get one answer. So these are a little bit different because as you see in this one, they're not lined up. The x's, the y's, the equal signs, and the numbers must be lined up in order for you to move forward. And it, um, in this one, it wouldn't matter if you got all the x's and y's on the same side, for example, like the first one, or if you move the x over and just got y on the same side and x is on the other like this one. What? But they just have to be lined up. It doesn't matter what the order is. So I'm going to take this equation and I'm just going to move the 6x over there and get it lined up that way. I hope that doesn't bother anyone. So I'm going to just do that. And negative 6x plus 0 is negative 6x, so I don't need to worry about the 0. And then the other equation I'm just going to write like this, exactly like it was. And now you'll see the y's are lined up, the equal signs, the x's, and the numbers. They're all lined up. But now I need to eliminate a variable. So I'm looking and I'm thinking it'd probably be easier to eliminate this 2. Because I can multiply this whole equation by 3. If I get this to be a 6x, then it would cancel with that. So that's what I'm going to do. I could get rid of these. I could multiply this whole equation by 5 and this whole equation by 3, negative 3 to eliminate those. But I think it's probably easier just to do this one. Oops, positive 3. So I'm going to multiply this whole equation by positive 3. So my first equation, again, that I had changed was 3y equals negative 6x. And now I'm going to change this one. So 5 times 3 is 15y. 3 times 2x is 6x. And 3 times 12 is 36. And now I'm going to add to eliminate my x's. So that's 18y equals 36. And when I divide both sides by 18, I get y equals 2. Now that I have my y, I know half of my answer. And I know it's this one right here. It's going to intersect in exactly one place. And so now I need to find my x. So I take my y and I plug it back in there. So I have 6x plus 3 times y equals 0. I'm going to plug my 2 in. I'm going to get 6x plus 6 equals 0. When I minus 6 from both sides, I get 6x equals negative 6. And when I divide both sides by 6, I get x equals negative 1. Now for the check. So in my check, I'm going to check into the second equation. I always like to plug the, the first variable that I get into the first equation and always check into the second equation, just so that I don't forget which one I've already used. So here's my second equation, but instead of y, 5y, I'm going to put a 2, and instead of x, I'm going to put a 1, negative 1. And let's see if those sides are equal. 5 times 2 is 10. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 plus 12. And 12 minus 2, or negative 2 plus 12, does equal 10. So I checked. I know that that is the right answer, which is really nice to know. This is the kind of quiz or test you can get 100% on if you just take the time to check. So make sure you do that. Next one. You'll see that this is a 3 and a 5. This is a 4 and a 3. Everything's lined up. X is Y is equal signs numbers. But there's not really one that's easier than the other. So I would just choose y's to eliminate just because it's a plus and a minus. So if I multiply this by a 3 and I multiply this by a 4, then I get a 12 here and a negative 12 there, and it'll be easier to cancel out. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to multiply this whole equation by a 3. And when I do that, I get 9x plus 12y equals, and I don't know, I think that's 84. Um, 8 times 3 is 24, 2 times 3 is 6, yes, that's 84. And over here, I'm going to multiply everything by a 4, so I get 5x, no, 20x, excuse me, 20x minus 12y equals negative 84. And just a second, I want to, okay, we're good. So, we're going to add these now. What do I get here? I get a 29x 
here they cancel out, and here they cancel out. Well, the only thing times 29 that gets me 0 is 0, but if you wanted to divide by 29, you could. 0 divided by 29 is 0. So I know half my answer. I know I have one solution. It's not parallel or the same line. And now I'm going to take that 0 and plug it in for my x. So I'm going to say 3 times 0 plus 4y equals 28. So I put my 0 in here. 3 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 4y is 4y, so I get 4y equals 28. When I divide both sides by 4, I get y equals 7. Put my 7 there, and then I'm going to check. So remember, I'm going to check into the second equation. I'm going to say 5 times x minus 3 times y. And does that equal negative 21? Because I want it to equal negative 21. So I put my 0 in here, my 7 in here. That's 0. And does 0 minus 21 equal a negative 21? Yes, it does. So that's my check. It was really important to check. I hope you'll take the time to do that. So that is solving some linear systems using el elimination. Good luck doing that. Just take your time, go step by step, and always check. M squared, signing out.